Hello everybody, it's Nufi from Nufi Loves Luxury. It is, uh, what day is it? Saturday afternoon um, and I'm going to do this quick filming um, so I can show you what I bought today, a Louis Vuitton. Yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, to those that um, have been following me and have subscribed and are watching, thank you so much for those that may have just found me or um, have not subscribed yet. If you could please help me and just press the uh, subscribe button, thumbs up and any comments that you would like to make. I would really appreciate it. So today, hmm, the story. <laughs> so the story is that my um, sales assistant at Louis Vuitton in um, Collins Street, she's lovely. Anyway, um, she messaged me this week and she said that there was the new collection coming out, which I'm sure you've all heard about, which is the Nautical Collection. Um, and she wanted to show me a few pieces and there was a couple of other items that they're not going to bring into the boutique, but she said if I want them, she wanted to show me so she would specially order it for me. So I thought, okay. So I went down there and I had a look and look, I really like the Nautical Collection, but I don't like that Vachetta of leather, I just don't, which is so not Louis Vuitton for, of a person, right? But um, I, yeah, no, it wasn't for me. And look, it was really pretty and I liked, you know, the look through the, um, I'll try and put a couple of pictures up. Um, I really liked the look of the gold chains and the, oh, it was really lovely. But I didn't love it enough to buy it, which is interesting. Um, anyway, then I thought, oh, and while I'm here, show me that, you know, Lock Me Ever Mini, which I've had my eye on. Still love it. Didn't walk away with it. I was just like, oh, I don't know. Then I looked at the corset, the new corset, um, with the, the pink, I think pink and brown braided uh, leather. Absolutely adore it. Thought, oh, I love that. I need to have a look at that. Didn't love it in person. Tried it on. Thought, no, nope, that's not for me. And then I went and had a look at the Elma with the same, and I thought, no, I have a couple of Elmas. No, first world problems, right? <laughs> anyway, so then I um, had a look around at well, basically everything else. I mean, I liked some jewelry boxes and I liked other items. I liked this pair of earrings in there. So I thought, I didn't love anything enough to buy today, isn't it? Isn't that not me, not Nufi? But I thought, no, I'll wait for whatever new collection comes out because nothing inspired me. And I just don't like the, you know, the dots. I don't like that collection. I just don't. But, but having said that, and let me just put this down. Having said that, um, yes, I did buy something. <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm going to sit and have a wine and have a play with what I've bought. So yes, I know I said year of the house, but in fair enough, when you see what it is, hopefully I will be forgiven. Okay, so let me open this. I have to stand back a bit because it's quite large. I don't know if there's the, um, you know, I'll have the receipt and everything in it. So you know, you will have all seen that, and if you are new to watching and unboxing, welcome. <laughs> um, but they're just an uh, envelope, and they just have the receipts and any information about it. I used to like these in the old days because the receipt was this really thick paper with the Louis Vuitton letterhead. I don't know if you remember that, guys, but um, they were really nice, and they made you feel really special. Still a nice envelope, but, you know, you end up putting them all in a drawer, and again, first world problems, right? Now... I'm going to explain something about this, but I'm going to tell you that I have, I've just literally got home about five minutes ago. I did open, I sort of opened this in the back of my car on the way home. And I'll tell you the reason once we open it together and I just slipped it out. I'll tell the reason why soon. And then I slipped it back in. So it is still an unboxing. Um, I don't know unboxing is the right word. It's not like I didn't see it in the store either, right? Ugh, anyway, so um, the cute ribbon, I'll get a bit closer. Um, tie, yeah. cute, it's cute though, I really like it, I appreciate this much more than the blue. Um, and, you know, the box, so I've all seen the box, but in case you haven't. So let me slip the ribbon off if I can, and I'm standing so it's a bit awkward. Um, just, ooh, yep, okay, it's ribbon. I actually do use the ribbons, I tie them around lots of things and I, yeah, Still have a lot, but I have a whole heap of box, but I really like them. So, what did I buy? What do you think I bought? 
pretty much can guess this is not a handbag, right? It's not a scarf. I love my scarf so much. I did see another one just like it. I think I've got my eye on that. Okay, so open the box up and take the dust bag out. I'll put the box down. Funny thing, um, this dust bag, you can get all different types of dust bags, right? And sometimes they're beautiful and soft and sometimes they're that everyday dust bag. I don't know what you call that. Funny enough, this one with a drawstring, which not all mine have a, a drawstring. Um, yeah, it's an unusual one. It sort of reminds me of the Capucines come in a really soft one like this. I wonder if she gave me one. Anyway, let's have a look. So it's a very, very big dust bag for the item. It's probably a really boring item to you guys, but I hope you enjoy watching me um, open it. So, I love it. So, la la. Yes, that's why I'm saying to some people this might be boring. To me, very, very exciting. Um, it's the larger size uh, ring agenda, which I'm going to show you in a minute before I open this though. Um, I want to tell you the reason why I slipped it out in the back seat. So I stopped on the way home. When I was at Louis Vuitton, they didn't have any of the inserts left. They didn't have any in stock. They said, I can order some online. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. I might as well go home and do that. But I thought I'll stop into Officeworks and I'll just see if they've got any um, or anything, just so I can play with it and use it for now, for this week. So this will be for work, obviously. Um, so when I was at Officeworks, I went and got it out quickly so I could see what size it was. And it's, it's this is the larger one, but it's, um, and I'll put all the details below, but basically fits A5 really nicely. So with that, I have put a piece of paper in it to see, at the shop to see if it fits, and I left it in there, I forgot. So, um, so this is what it looks like, and I'll take that piece of paper out. So that's not a Louis Vuitton. I really like that it's got the key, re oh, the uh, pen holder, because my other one doesn't. It's got the flap under here. I think I have this upside down. Nope. Um, then it's got the lighter colour with the gold, these, what do you call them, rings. Um, these are just the little, hey, you know what they didn't ask me? They didn't ask me if I wanted to get it hot stamp, which I would have, I actually would have liked too. They did not ask me. Anyway, um, if you want to see the code, um, and then just the little, you know, Louis Vuitton card that you get. Is that focused in? Yep. So I'll just put, oh, I'm disappointed now, because I did actually want it hot stamped here. I wonder if I can take it back in and ask them to do it. Because it's like two hours away from where I live. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't they ask me? Anyway, it's got the uh, couple of flaps there, um, the little pocket there that the cards are just currently sitting in, and then of course it's got the um, the rings which I'll attempt to open. Do you just pull these open? I haven't had a ring one before. I'm going to take this piece of paper out so you can actually see the proper colour. Um, I know that you can then. Hmm. All right, all right. Let me close that again. I thought that that's what these parts do. Let me try. Oh yeah, they do. So you push those two down and it pops open. I'll do that again. That one and that one. Yeah, okay. Don't pull it open. Um, it's got a little mark on it. Wait a minute. Mm, I think it'll wipe off, but I'll... Mm. Being fussy. I probably won't even pick up on the camera. It's not picking up, is it? But this, I know I'm going to pack it and then I'm going to take a couple of photos with it with some things in it. Um, I have not had this one before. Just to show you, um, the ones that I do have is, um, I know this is the ring agenda and I know this has got the ability to close it and hold your pen. So I really, really like that. Um, the ones that I do have is the one that's called, a, I think it's called Paul. Um, I think this is a really weird size. I love the lock on it much better than the other one that I just showed you. The um, S lock, I think that's so great. And I love, love that um, interior is red. That's just things that I have in it. And I just buy, you know, cheap books and I put them in there and I use my own rather than, you know, buying the Louis Vuitton ones, um, which you could. 
I don't use this one as much. I basically use this to write down ideas for YouTube, actually. So that's my YouTube one. Um, and then I have my very favourite, which is the, they're just my little stickers, um, which is the, uh, I think this is also the same size as the other, actually. This is the desk agenda, not the ring agenda. So when you open it up, um, and again, I've got books shoved in here. It's got the pockets, just like the other one. I've got two books shoved in here. And then it's got the card holders and all the wallets you know you could put your if you were at work you could put all your cards in there or whatever you want to do I haven't set this up properly yet but I use it every day um for my books for notes um so I love this one so just in comparison to size this is the desk agenda that's flat it doesn't have the clasp to open it I love this I take it everywhere it goes with my riverside bag that if you haven't seen that it's um it's in there <laughs> that one but it's my work bag and I love it so much and it worked beautiful with that. And then these, so in comparison to that, these are the sizes. So the pole is much smaller, as you can see. But it's not small, it's just smaller. This is, so I don't have the smallest one because I just think it's too small. I don't know what to do with that. Um, even though I thought it was much bigger than, than this one, I don't think it is. I think they're a very similar size. This probably just looks bigger because of that. But in actual fact, I think it's just, yeah, they're the same size. So they're both going to take an A5. They both do take an A5. So there they are. I know this looks smaller, but that's because that's got the rings. This doesn't. But this fits a lot. Like, this, you could fit double what I've got in there. Um, yeah, so you can see it's because of the rings. And I haven't got it packed yet. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited for to pack this full for work, um, but I do actually use um, all three for different purposes, but I do use all three of these. So that's all I need though. I don't need any more. I've been wanting that ringer one for a while. Um, I looked at the little one and thought, do I want that? And then I'm like, no, I don't, I don't need that. This is an odd shape and I wouldn't buy it again, but I really, really wish that the red interior of that was available in these because I would buy these constantly like yeah I would absolutely buy that because I don't really like the brown inside but anyway your paper covers it so I'm going to stop babbling um I was very excited uh I really really love it I was just having a look does this have you know what this doesn't have this doesn't have see the interior it actually doesn't have card slots. I know it has this one down here and this one, but this, which is my pride and joy, as I showed you before, yeah, it has the big flaps. I think this is a fabulous, this is the one that I would buy again and again if anything happened. But this has all of the ones in the back. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. Oh, you can. It has all of those. That's really funny, isn't it? Why wouldn't this one have at least even three. Anyway, um, so I actually brought this with me for the video so I could take my, um, you know, cards out to show you, but there is no point because this doesn't have a card holder. It's really weird. Anyway, it's not the end of the world because what I've found, in fairness, is this that I've used for a long time now. Well, I don't know how long, but at least probably 12 months. I've never actually put credit cards in it. I've never used it for that purpose. But I like that I could if I wanted to. Anyway, love it. I'm so happy with it. I'm going to go sit down now and have a wine and sit there and put all my paper in it that I've bought. And uh, I will show you that after. Anyway, I, I didn't find anything else to buy, so there's certainly no other unboxing yet. But, you know, maybe at the next collection. So we'll see what the next video brings, shall we? Anyway, I just wanted to uh, say thank you again to those that have subscribed. Um, if you can hit the subscribe button and help me out, I'm only at 250 and I'm trying to grow to at least 1,000. That would be amazing. Um, anyway, I'm also going to buy some makeup soon, so look out for that. So guys, I will leave it there. Have a fabulous day and a fabulous weekend. I probably won't even get this uploaded for the weekend, so maybe next weekend have a fabulous one. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.